Creator Nation, what's going on? Welcome back to Monzon Media. Today, I wanted to go over Luminar AI templates and how you can work with them. But first, there was a recent update announced uh, just the other day for Luminar 1.01. Now, it's not a huge update, but there's a few things I think that you would find interesting and helpful. So let's take a look at that quickly right now. One of the first things you might notice is if you import uh, an image or a folder, you, see, you will see they have icons now, not a huge update. One of the biggest ones is the tools palette. As you can see, they're now color coordinated. Uh, they removed the options on the side here, which I personally liked. I'm not sure why they would remove that. Uh, and the other thing is, you know, scrolling is fine, but it would be nice if you can collapse it like how some of these are. Let's say Essentials, Creative, uh, Portrait, and Professional had collapsible options. I think that would be a little bit more functional. One of the other updates is that if you hover over certain functions, it now explains what they are for and what they do. So other than that, I think the biggest updates were more in terms of performance issues with, uh, especially on the Mac OS platform and some on the Windows platform. So again, check out the link in the description below for the full uh, release on the latest updates. I'm still eagerly waiting for Reflection AI and Boca AI. Uh, I haven't heard yet as to when th that will be released. Uh, I hope uh, it'll be before end of Q1, which is March. So let's see, let's see what happens. Now, what I wanna do today is kind of walk you through the whole template process and how you can use templates to learn uh, how to edit your photos. Uh, I know when you're first starting out, a lot of the lingo and the jargon used in programs is very unfamiliar. But a good way of learning a program is utilizing the templates and seeing how it works and understanding all the changes that were done. And then you try to mimic those same changes from scratch. So what I'm going to do is start with a photo. And uh, this has already been imported, so I'm going to just bring it up here. And one of the things that I like about Luminar in terms of the templates, uh, it's this second icon here at the top. This is where the AI is super intuitive, where whatever picture you import, it recommends uh, a template to you. So for this photo here, it recommends experimental. Now, if I were to go back to my catalog and pick something, uh, let's say, yeah, let's say I'm gonna use this photo of a blue jay. It's going to recommend this template called Animal Friends. So it analyzes the picture and recommends to you uh, what it thinks is best for you to start off as. Uh, but anyway, in terms of the templates, again, it's recommending experimental. So we're going to go with it and we just have to click on the template suggestion. And then within this category, you're going to see um, some options you have here. So let's take a look at them. Uh, burned film. It gives you this look. Oh, and I, I do want to kind of point out first that this photo is a raw image, so it's pretty flat. The colors are flat, shadows, highlights are flat. So if you have the ability to shoot a flat profile or uh, a neutral profile in your camera, I would highly suggest for you to experiment with that before you utilize a template. So if we look at the burned film option, I quite like that actually. It's it's kind of got that classic vintage look. Uh, let's look at Celebrate. Oh, it's got some overlays here, a very warm vintage look. Cold frame, again, very cool image. 
uh, cool looking in terms of temperature. It looks like it's got some overlays. Color ramp, uh, we have a black and white here. Glow, again, use of overlays and feather and light, all right? So I kind of like this burnt film look. It, it doesn't look too over-processed and I'm actually very happy with how this looks. I might just add a bit of contrast. So what I'm gonna do is uh, choose this one and then go into edit. Now you might be asking yourself, well, what did Luminar do to my photo? Well, good question. So if you look at uh, the top here under essentials, you're gonna see these little dots beside all these options that the template used to process the photo. So if I pick uh, any one of these, of course the enhance uh, was used at 41. Now if I were to take that off here with this little button, you see how slightly it becomes a bit more flatter? Now, Enhance AI kind of does an overall adjustment with shadows, highlights, contrast, detail, that type of thing. So if I were to really bring this up, you see how rich and bold it gets even more. And it's actually, it looks really good. Uh, that's what I like about this, that it's not overbearing. It, it does a good job of putting enough of that feature. So as you see here as well, uh, it has changed some of the light options and temperature, tint. Uh, I see smart contrast was decreased. And if we look at structure, uh, minus 26. So it's really giving it a very soft look. Details as well, a lot of um, negatives here. And then if we look under creative, we see mood here. The saturation was decreased. And let's look at portrait. I added some face light. Uh, let me click that off and see. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, it's just a very little touch. Uh, I'll leave it on, that's great. Uh, a little bit of the skin smoothening was done, although, I don't really see the need for it. Um, her skin really naturally looks really good. Very little makeup, very uh, natural looking. I might have not used this at all. Let's see if that makes a huge difference. Not really a big discernible difference. Let me see if zooming in, we can see it more. I'm gonna click that back on. Yeah, it's very subtle. Uh, I guess I'd leave that on. That's pretty much how you would know what uh, was adjusted with the template. Now, let's say I like this template, but I want to make my own adjustments. Uh, let's say enhance AI, I crank up here, and maybe I actually want more contrast. I really love the super contrast feature. It's so useful bringing out uh, more detail and color and things like that. I really like this option. So now what you can do here is go back to templates and click on my collection and see this burned film at the bottom, what you want to do is click on the three dots and click on save. And you're going to see under my templates, under my collection, that template is now there for you to use. So if I were to remove all these adjustments by right clicking over the photo, Go to adjustments, revert to original, or the shortcut keys, control, shift, R. Now, by a simple click of the button, I can use that template. Hey, of course, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything you want to learn or know about in Luminar, or check out some of my other videos. Got a lot of stuff here on Canva, Pixlr, whatever. But for now, see ya, but I wouldn't want to be ya. Anyone know where that movie quote is from? Let me know.